Hi, I promised you in the last video that we are going to test the metric option of Death Anything V2. And today we are going to do it. It's going to be in two parts, but we are going to focus on the first one, which is actually forming from a TD image a cloud point or a point cloud. And to do that, actually, we're going to do to do it using the same repository for the last time. We actually cloned a repository, and inside this repository, there is a folder called Metric Depth, which is actually dedicated for the metric option of Depth Anything V2. We're going to go inside, and there is a file, a Python file called Depth to Point Cloud, which is for actually four minute from a 2d image a point cloud so we're going to test it and see actually how it looks like and to do that actually there is everything explained in here and there is the command that you are going to run and it's almost the same as the as the one that we have used and you have actually the to, to load another model for metric option which is over here and there is two types of models. There is indoor models, outdoor models. Indoor models is for spaces, uh, I mean, closed spaces like home, inside a room, in the lab. And for the outdoor models, it's for the open space, like in, 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 in a street, in a park. So you are going to choose actually which one and download it. For me, I downloaded the lightest one, which is 24.8 million parameters. And we're going to use it actually it does very good and very well so far and that's it i think that's it we're going now to uh, this python file over here and i added only two lines because the original code there is nothing actually that helps us display the result the point cloud uh, map or the point cloud uh, file it actually save it in a folder and you're going to uh, uh, do another code to display it so I added these two lines to display the result and see it in front of us so these these are the two lines using the a library called uh, open 3d so let's run this and see how it looks like so this is the command that we are going to use I have it already and this is the image let's run it and let's see actually the image in front of us so this is the image that we are using as a test so it's just a tape okay let's see the result here we are in one two three four five yeah here we are so let's just put it in this way here yeah i think that in that way is i think it's good yeah so in terms of detecting the planner objects i mean uh, the wall that we have here and the table they are planner objects i think it's quite good Let's see here, they are almost planner. Sometimes there is some defects over here. But in terms of, I mean, we can accept it because I, I, I really appreciate the result because from a 2D image uh, and, 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 and the result actually is to form a point cloud, it's fantastic. So it deforms actually the object. I mean, it actually deforms it a little bit, but it's okay. I mean, the uh, important information are there, and we, when we are seeing actually the object in this side, we see everything is clear and everything is well, uh, I mean, well detected in terms of depth. So I think it's good, and I appreciate actually the result, and it's fantastic. But the question remains again, which is how how accurate it is when we come to real measurement when we come actually to measure with a tape measure the distance between the camera with this object or this wall over here or this table 
how accurate it is. And that's where we're going to see in the last video in which we are going to validate this depth anything V2. That's it. We are almost there. Stay with us. Goodbye.